Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another video here. So today I thought I would just kind of do like a, I don't know, like a re-tour of my nail room and just my like little office space here. Some stuff has changed since the last time I showed you guys. So I thought I would just kind of do an update. Yeah, that's what it's called, an update. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and I will just show you kind of the general overview of my room. And then I will give you kind of like a, a mini tour of the actual nail space itself. So when you first walk in, I have a little tea area where I keep way too much. I'm gonna like not even color correct that so that you guys can't see how much tea I have. No, I'm just kidding, I'll try and show you. I, I have kind of a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea throughout the day. And so I got this little tea cart just because I thought it would be cute. And I really like this specific um, tea kettle. You can change the temperature to exactly what you want. And then next to it, I have this little couch here. I actually don't use this couch. I don't sit on it. I just put stuff on it, I guess. Sometimes my boyfriend comes in and he sits on it and bothers me when I'm doing stuff, but <laughs> that's about it. And I have that Kirk and Spock blanket that I got at the county fair when I was still in college. I had to have it. Above that, I have a pin board that I started. I really like enamel pins. So you can see I have some of my, I kind of like separated them into sections. This is my like aliens kind of a section. So I've got my Star Trek and my X-Files. And then I have some kind of amphibians here. This is the Ribbits Stickets pin that I got at Polish and Beauty Expo. I got a couple bugs. A subscriber sent me that B pin and I love it. This is my kind of more like Asian centered pin. So like Asian cartoons and food and things like that. These were my two biggest anime crushes when I was younger, just in case anybody cared. And then I have like a little Ajima here. I got this when I was in Nara. And then, I mean, who doesn't love green onions? Then we just have some weird pins. I got, I'm shifting into soup mode. That's from uh, Seinfeld, but I just put it in the weird pins. I got Peppa Pig. This one says, um, tight jeans improve your circulation. I know it's hard to see. And then this one says, not tonight, dear. I got those two at like a vintage place. And then over here, I have a couple like lucky strikes. This is a U-Haul pin that my boyfriend got when he worked at U-Haul. Um, it was like a reward for, I don't know, being an essential worker or something. They were like, congrats on working through COVID. Here's a crappy little pin. He gave that to me. And then these, I got obviously this one from Polish and Beauty Expo. I got this when I went to What's Up Nails with my friends Fanatic here and Quality Nails. Uh, this one, my friend Bookish Boricua sent us. And then uh, I used to work at Hot Topic, so I got like a Hot Topic pin. I got a couple others. And then we bought some art for our living room. And this is like not a pin back style that I usually like anymore, but I just stuck it up there. As you can see, I have a lot of space. I definitely would love to fill this. Enamel pins are very expensive though. They can be like $10 or more for one pin. And I wanna get a bag to put them on, but for now I've just been displaying them up there. And then over here we have my makeup kind of station, I guess you could call it. I actually ended up decluttering a lot, not actually decluttering, it's all in a box down in there. But I took out a lot of stuff that I just was like, I don't know if I really want this or use this anymore. And I put it in a box and I was like, let me see if I forget about it. I definitely, I know the box is there, but I don't even remember what's in it. So I don't know, I need to get rid of some of that. This is something my sister got me for Christmas uh, two years ago and you put like a little tea light in there and it's super cute, it's over the garden wall. And then just some of my perfumes. I have the Rose Forever, these are so cool, I love these. They are like specially treated roses. They sent me this a while back um, and they just kind of last at least a year, I believe. And then my makeup brushes, which I should wash. I have all my mini perfumes. I love mini things. And then just some palettes, nothing super exciting. 
and like acrylic organizers and stuff and a dirty towel where I wipe my hands as I do my makeup. And then I just keep my ring light out nowadays because it's just such a pain to put back. Oh, this is the cutest, what are those things called from Bath and Body Works where you put like the scent in and like you plug them into the wall. I literally, I'm blanking so hard right now. But yeah, I found this succulent one. I have these in like every room of the house. I've become like really into them. I don't know. I just like want my house to smell good. And then I have all my plants. Don't judge me because some of them are like not doing great. Um, whatever that was died. Uh, this one half died and I gotta do something with that. These guys are doing okay. This one is, he's seen better days. He's growing kind of funny. I don't get the right kind of, like the sunlight angle is kind of bad here. These guys are good. My Peruvian cactus is good. These guys are all doing okay. All the way to the back there. And then this one, I actually almost killed this like over a year ago and it has rejuvenated to this point. So I feel like I'm doing all right with that. Um, I repotted part of a cactus and then I have a spider plant which has a thousand babies that I should probably replant, but I haven't. And then over here is the actual nail corner. This is kind of what you guys see in my background. And I'll go more in depth than this in a minute, but I just have some storage drawers. I have hooks on the wall here. I got all my display. And then directly next to that is my nail painting station. And then if you turn to the right, that's where I keep my planner next to me at all times. Some stationery in the back corner. And then my computer. So let's go actually in depth into the nail station. So first of all, I have this cute little rack that a subscriber sent to me and I've been using this as my monthly rack. This is the monthly rack right now. I did a randomizer and I had like a number for every polish and that's how I picked these. It is the ugliest combination of colors ever. I've already worn these two, they need to go back. And then I just keep some like quick dry spray and some hand lotion and stuff for easy access. This is a water marbling cup from Fair Maiden. And this plastic acrylic thing, that is actually, I got it off of Amazon. It's for like pens and pencils and stuff, but I figured I would use it for my brushes and then any swatch sticks for stuff that I've made that hasn't come in yet, I stick in the bottom. I got this little planter from Target and then when the plant that I put in it died and I realized this is not the best for succulents, I started using it for swatch sticks that I have made but have not sorted into the swatch sticks. And then this cup I used to use for all of my brushes and stuff, but it got so jam packed. So now I just put like tweezers and orange wood sticks and just like some minor tools that I'm not frequently using. This is the hinge where you can put like a, a top coat in it or a polish or whatever and put it in there and then like it'll tilt the bottle. So if you don't have much left, it kind of helps you get the polish out of there. I actually use it for lately. I've been using it for like if I have say I have like a glitter or something that I need to hold upside down for like 10 minutes, I just stick it like that and then walk away. So that way I don't have to like worry about it balancing on the table. Here's my actual like workstation. I have some stuff that I want to swatch, but I got this like plastic mat that I put under just in case I have a spill that'll protect the table. I have two nail files, a glass nail pusher, a mat, and then that's where I put all my acetone. And I always like to keep a paper towel to like wipe off any excess acetone from a brush. This is my favorite part to show people. And this is my swatch ring wall and my Helmers. Whenever people come and visit for the first time, I'm always like, oh, do you wanna see my nail room? And then they come in and they're like, oh my God. Cause I, I just, I don't know. I think that some people will complain that this looks like a nail salon. And you know what? Uh, a nail salon's wish, okay? Nail salons wish they could look this cute and fun. I just really love this. For me, it's just, the ultimate wall decor, which I'm sure not everybody's gonna agree, but I really love the swatch sticks. I like to, you know, like just take them off and look at them. And then down here we have four Helmers and God help me if I get another one cause ugh, she doesn't need another one. Um, but let's go over what's on top of them and then I'll show you the insides a little bit. So here's an acrylic rack and that has all my top coats, my base coats, my specialized top coats, 
and then some treatments and things like that. I just did a huge, well, huge for me, declutter, and I posted that on my channel, so if you're interested, I will link that video up above. And then also on this Helmer, I have all of my magnets for magnetic polishes. I have so many magnets. I really don't know how I acquired this many. Um, I really only use like this one mostly. So I guess I didn't really need that many magnets. Over on the next Helmer, I have all of my removers. So this is like the dip one where you can like stick your fingers in. It's great for glitter because it has like a scrubby thing on it. I have Remove Plus in the pump bottle. I have acetone in an old Remove Plus bottle. This is something I bought when I was out of town and I didn't have like nail stuff. And I'm just trying to use the rest of it. It's not the best. I prefer 100% acetone, which is what this is. This is not Studio M brand. This is like the brand of acetone that I get at um, Sally's Beauty by the gallon. And I just refilled this old bottle that I've had since college. Like this bottle I've had since the beginning, eight years old. And that bottle's still going strong. So I don't know, I just like to reuse it. On this Helmer, I have all of my nail oils. Okay, I actually turned a light on for once in my life. So on this Helmer, I have all of my nail oils and I, this little card came with one of my Shop NBM Cuticle Buddy orders and I just bought this like cheap little like 99 cent frame from Walmart and put it in there because I thought it was kind of funny. And I just, this is all like stuff I've just acquired. Uh, most of this I don't think I've really like paid for in the past couple years. It's just been, I just have it and I need to go through it. So I don't buy cuticle oil anymore because I have so much and I need to, well, that's a lie because I literally just bought the Cheeto one, but usually I don't, usually I don't. So I have a lot that I need to use up and I'm gonna put it in my cuticle buddies or not all of it, but a lot of it. And then on the last Helmer, I keep some of my more expensive or like luxury polishes. Um, I like, the Harry Styles ones. I like the way they look, even though they suck. They're not good polishes. I like the way they look, so I wanted them out on display. And like everything else except the, the Louboutin, I think, would fit in my drawers. Well, actually, the Crete wouldn't fit in my drawers either. But these are just ones that I really like. Um, this Chanel over here was a gift from my boyfriend, and it was like, that's one that probably I would have put in my drawers otherwise, but it was like a really expensive, really fancy polish, so I wanted to display it. And yeah, those are my little, I bought these off of Amazon too. I'll try to link some of this stuff down below if you guys are interested. Oh, and then another thing I have on my drawers is my polish pack. This is something that you can like slide. It has a bunch of little pockets in there and then you can slide polishes in there and roll it up and snap it shut. And it's great for travel. I've traveled with it many times. I highly recommend it. It's just like felt and they, they're like hand sewn. Mine has pizzas on it, but they have a lot of different patterns. And then, of course, on the front of my Helmers, I have a ton of sticker magnets. I don't want to commit to placing some of these stickers down, especially on my Helmers. Like, what if one day my entire vibe changes, my entire aesthetic goes off, or I just am like, I don't like this sticker anymore. You can't really pull a sticker off. So all of these I have put onto magnetic paper and then painstakingly cut them out and so I can move them around and rearrange them at my whim and I just prefer it like that. I just think it makes it so much nicer and if I am one day like I just want clear clean Helmers I can take them all off. On the side of this Helmer I have a bunch of glitter pots that haven't seen the light of day in like a thousand years and a couple more stickers and magnets and things and um, a trash can. And then I'm sure you guys are used to seeing all this in the background. These are just, I need to rearrange these. I got so many boxes. I've got a lot of Hollow Taco boxes up here. I've got my Polish and Beauty Expo lanyards. I like to keep some of the more unusual or interesting little one-off boxes that I've gotten over the years. I keep some of the little ephemera and stuff. So like when I went to the color labs with my friend Stephanie, I took one of these to put back here. The Kelly Marissa Orly came with this little tarot card. So I have that back there. <laughs> when I got on the Orly PR list, that was really exciting for me. So I kept the little note. Um, I keep all of my limited edition Holo Taco boxes. 
and I kept the Orly Lisa Frank ones. I actually have more boxes than this stored in my closet. And these are the shelves. They're like command strip shelves. And, you know, you can't put a ton of weight on them, but these are empty boxes, so it works. And then I have all of my cuticle buddies kind of in a rainbow line. I turned them to the left when they're empty and you can see they're all empty now except for the brown one which is missing from the spot because I'm trying to use it up and once I do I will refill them and then this is a new thing that I got since the last time I filmed this video I believe I bought this at Michael's and it's really really cheap there was like a nicer more expensive version at Target but like that stopped being sold I think at the time um, so on top, I have a gel lamp that doesn't fit in any of the drawers. I have a couple hollow taco boxes and a Cirque box that I need to figure out what to do with. I have a kazoo and some stuff from my friend Stephanie or Fanaticure. I have the Color Labs tubes that like when we went to Orly Color Labs together, they put your polish in these tubes and I just, I don't know, I didn't want to get rid of them. Like, do you guys hang on to dumb stuff like that? Because I sure do. And then it's just like a rainbow of plastic drawers. So I guess real quick, let's go over what's in the Helmers and what's in these drawers. And then I think that'll be it. So if you noticed when I showed you my stickers earlier, these are all labeled by like the alphabetical. So in this drawer, H through J, we have Hollow Taco all the way through Julie G, it looks like. And that's how I do it. And then in each drawer, here's like one that's all O's. It's all Orly's. I don't know if you can tell from the top. I've got them going in like Roy G. Biv order. There's more above. And so like, I don't know if you guys want a full collection tour as far as polish goes. That would take a million years. So we're not going to do that. But the Helmer, there's... In some of the drawers, there's a little bit of space, but then other drawers are completely full. Um, and by a little bit of space, I mean like maybe one row. Like you saw back there, there's about space for one more row of polishes. But then in this drawer, there's no extra space at all back there. It's just completely full. These are just filling up. So the first Helmer's full, second Helmer's full, third Helmer's full goes all the way to Z. And then, um, like I said, a couple of them have a little bit of extra space. In the fourth Helmer, we have a Z drawer, which of course is all Zoya. Uh, we have another Z drawer, uh, again, all Zoya. And then those are just in the very back. Those are some that I mixed myself. This drawer is mercifully empty, ready to be filled with too much polish. These are all of my minis that I have. I put them in a separate drawer. I don't want to acquire any more minis because this drawer is full. Here's all of my stamping polishes. They don't stay put, so they just kind of scattered. Um, I Every so often I try to reorganize this drawer and then they just slide. I have stuff in the bottom. It's like, like contact paper type stuff, but it's like rubberized. Um, it's not helping those bottles. And then in the very bottom here, uh, I have all my gel polish, which is not very much. I didn't purchase any of this. These were all sent to me. I'm just not, I'm not a gel girly. Like, I don't know. It's fun. I like it. It's pretty, but it just is not for me. So I should probably declutter these. I don't know why I'm hanging on to them. It's more just like, I'm like, oh, if somebody comes over and they want to do gel, well, I have, you know, five colors. So I don't know. It's not that great. And then in my colorful set of drawers, We'll go drawer by drawer. This is not the final organization for this. I don't know what I'm doing with this. I need to reorganize it. But in the top drawer is all of my stamping plates. It's really heavy. I don't know why I put this in the very top drawer. That was a bad move. And I don't know if you guys can see. It's so heavy that when you push it in, it shaves the plastic of the drawer. So you have to be really careful. This is not a very sturdy drawer. I wouldn't recommend it. In the darker pink drawer, I have more stamping stuff. These are all of my stampers. I have my cards here that I use to scra or scrapers. They're not cards. I have the um, lint roller that I use to pick up some of the stamping. 
I have my Orly, they sent me these nail stickers and I need to put them in this binder. This is a binder that's filled with, it's got like a lot of my like little miscellaneous. So these are nail vinyls. Um, what else do we have in here? A lot of nail vinyls. We have some nail stickers, lots of nail stickers. These are the Holo Taco ones. You can see I got the Velveeta ones. These were from Harry Styles. Uh, these are Deco Miami, more Deco Miami. And then these are water slide decals. I have a lot, I really wanna use these. I just, it takes me so long to use anything. I got some SpongeBob ones and then these evil stickers. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. I like to keep it all in this little binder because I just feel like it's easier to go through and move around than if I had kept them all in their original packaging. In the light pink drawer, we have more like nail art stuff in the back. So I have sponges, I have some glitter wheels. Um, this was like a free gift with purchase from Color Club. This is an obscene amount of glitter. I don't know why they sent that much glitter. Uh, what else? More glitter, I don't know where I got that glitter. Uh, I have this foil transfer tape. I still have not tried this out. Um, this is, uh, old tape reel that I took apart and then I put in all this striping tape. I saw somebody else do it uh, and I thought it was genius. So that's how I keep my striping tape. And then all of my lovely Cirque glitters back there. I love the Cirque glitters. They're very cute, even if I don't use them often enough. Here's all of my nail polish making supplies. I still gotta do some more of that. And then down here, these are like nail art cards I got as a gift with purchase from Ulta. It's like a fun thing that you can do. And then I've got a couple sets of press-ons. I wore these, I haven't worn these. And those are from Glitz Fingers and I didn't know where else to put them. So I put them in here. And this is just like the glue and stuff. In the orange drawer, we have a lot of gel type stuff. So this is such a mess of a drawer. This is gel nail glue. This is a travel LED light. I have some fake nails here that I bought once. These are just cords for like the various lights that I have. This is from the Zoya Jelly Cure system, their naked manicure. I got this for free and I use it a couple times, it's fine. I have my nail clips. And then here's more of the Jelly Cure system. As you can see, I've gotten it twice, so I have two of the lights. The dark yellow drawer is where I keep my cotton rounds. Um, I'm dangerously low. I think I need to place an order because we don't have very many left. The light yellow drawer just has like a mishmash of stuff. So here's my color wheel. Here's stickers that I've gotten that need to be turned into magnets. I wait until I get like a good stack of them and then I do them all at once. So this was from Uber Chic. These are from Loud, Rest in Peace. Um, Doodle Bob from Fandom Flakies. I got, I think somebody sent me this. And then like I have the Planets one. I got an X-Files sticker. This is from when I went to see the Cabazon Dinosaurs with Stacy and Stephanie. Moxie sticker. Here's another loud sticker. I love that one. I thought that was cute. I, this is just a huge sticker. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. My friend Stephanie, her face is, oh, it's a magnet. It's already a magnet. I need to put that on the thing. Um, this is something I got at Kurosushi and it's like a, it's like a thick sticker. This is from the Cirque advent calendar. I got this with the Dom advent calendar, Cleona, and some Deco Miami stickers. So I actually probably have enough to, to make sticker magnets. And then back here is, these are all polishes that I've since used up and have not repurchased, or like maybe I've given them away or something. Um, I just removed the swatch sticks and stick them in here. These are little charms that I got at PBE. They were like in my swag bag and I just stuck them in here for some reason. And then these are the command strips that I use for the tiny hooks. So like if I need to create more hooks for my swatch sticks. In the dark green drawer, we just have like extra stuff. So these are more makeup sponges that I use for gradients. These are the big, what do you call these? Binder clip things that I use for my swatch sticks. 
And these are the little ones that I use for my swatch sticks. So that's, this is just like an extras drawer. And then this is also kind of an extras drawer in the dark blue. This is where I keep my swatch wheels, all my extra swatch sticks. I have all these little bottles that you could put like nail oil and stuff in. And then this has like pots for the glitter and and it has some magnets that I glued, like I super glued to the back of them if I want to stick them to my helmer. In the kind of teal drawer, this has like super glue and then this is just like a travel nail polish remover thing. And then this is a hollow taco brush. I don't, I got like a wonky brush and then I forgot to put, I forgot which one was wonky and now I got to figure that out. This is just an extra like acetone thing. This is my bonus track that I I just never mixed up because I don't know what to do with that. This is all like mini bottles of the Blue Cross. This is a cuticle remover. Um, this is my bottle of Orly Bonder Base that I can refill my bottle with. This is the Orly Spritz Dry. I just already have a quick dry spray out on my desk, so this is kind of like a backup. These are the OPI Nail Lacquer Thinner Drops. These are, I've had this for a while. A little goes a long way. These are really nice. And my Glisten and Glow, I'm getting kind of low. I'm probably gonna need to order another one soon. That's like a backup bottle. And then just bubble wrap for some reason. That's very unlike me. I don't know why that's in there. I'm gonna leave it in there. And then this is like my extras and like potential giveaway drawer kind of thing. Um, this is, these three items are for my friend Stacy, so those will go over there. I have extras of all of these, like doubles or something like that, so that's why they're in here. And these are unused ones. And then these are, oops, I dropped the drawer. Um, I purchased Color Pass, but then I got on the Orly PR list, so I get doubles for now until my Color Pass runs out, and then I will just probably not renew it. But for now, like these are extras unused full collections, so like these would be great for giveaways too. So yeah, that is my office space and my nail room. This is my favorite little corner of the house. And like I said, I love bringing people in here when they come over for the first time and showing them this. It's just so much fun. Oh, also I have glow in the dark stars on the ceiling. That's gonna be fun when we move out to take those off of popcorn ceiling. I don't care, so yeah. That is gonna be it for this video. You guys let me know if you liked this. Let me know what other kind of content you wanna see from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.